signed on their water bill. So Joe Blair is the tenant, and he says, okay, landlord, I'm behind on the bill. I can pay this much a month to pay it off. As the city, we say, no, you owe this by May 15th, pay it off or your water is cut off. Well, if the landlord says, listen, I talked to my tenant, Joe Blair, I want to pay $100 a month or a week or whatever the case may be. I'm agreeing that I will allow him to do that so his water is not cut off. At that point, the landlord is responsible with the tenant to make sure that these are paid for. If the tenant doesn't fall through with that, then it would be the responsibility of the landlord if we did a payment arrangement with them that way. So if so, even, even though that these tenants are underneath, like they were in before the policy? Right. But we're not saying that they're responsible for the bill, but what we're saying is if they come in, the tenant, with the landlord into the city to make a payment arrangement so that they're not disconnected, then the landlord is taking responsibility at that point. That's if he signs for it. That's so, what we're saying. So if he doesn't sign, then the tenant gets cut off. Right. Okay, so how is how is that grandfathered in then? Because this was supposed to be grandfathered in, so any tenant in before January 2011, the landlords are not responsible for them. So now if a tenant does default and it comes down to a point where they do get cut off, and then so a tenant's not going to want to get cut off, they're going to want their landlord to go down with them to set up a payment arrangement, payment. but as signing the payment arrangement, it makes the landlord legally financially responsible. You don't have to sign the payment arrange with the landlord if they don't want to. So they just get cut off and a $300 bill gets sent to the landlord? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say it gets sent to the landlord because as you just stated, if they moved in before 2011, the landlord's not responsible. I didn't say that. So if the so right now this letter that is stating you know the landlord is going to go down to the city, they're going to make a payment arrangement with the city. They have to do anything they don't want to do. But if they don't want to do it, what happens? Then the tenant gets cut off. And does a bill get sent to the landlord for the removal of the meter? Fine. No, the bill does not get sent to the landlord. The it, bill gets sent to the tenant to if they want their water back on. Okay, so does, because I know there's a removal of the meter when a tenant gets cut off. Well, we don't remove the meters. You'll remove the meters and no charge will be given to the landlord on a tenant who is not previously right. been, been in. Right. So how do you stop sending letters to, ten, to landlords with tenants who are not underneath the policy? They automatically go out if the tenant hasn't paid. Is there any way you can talk to someone about getting those people not to do it? Because landlords are getting very confused, and they're going down there signing agreements for these for the tenants, thinking that they have to, and a lot of the landlords are actually paying the bill because they think that they're financially responsible, but they don't understand that it's grandfathered in for any tenant after January 2011. We legally have to let the landlords know if the tenants are not paying their bill. We have to let them know. Okay, yeah, you do have to let them know for the tenants who are they responsible for, but you're letting them know underneath the tenants who are they're not responsible for. You have to understand, we get the flip side where the landlords come in and say, how can you go in and turn off my tenant's water and not even allow me to know that this is going on? I own that house. See, we get the flip side, too. It's not just the side, you know what I'm saying? We get that side of it, too, so we have to let them know what's going on. Okay, so back to the note that's on the back of the bill where it says that the acknowledgement of the arrangement saying that you'll be financially responsible. So say if I, I have a tenant right now who is not underneath this policy, but she wants me to go down there to make an arrangement so she doesn't get her water cut off, then I will be responsible for that bill? Say that again. So you have, so this is, bef this is bef after the date where they're not responsible, which date are you talking about? So I have a tenant that's moved in, let's say, in 2009. Okay. And this tenant decides to not pay their water bill or they can't pay their water bill, and they're about to be cut off. Mm -hmm. And if they get cut off from the services, but or they are, they're about to get cut off from the service, and I go down with the city to say that this tenant is making an arrangement with you to pay this amount. Now, are, am I legally responsible if that tenant defaults and doesn't follow through with that payment arrangement? Yes, that's what we've said, yes. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, pretty nasty stuff. Uh, would you be able to ta transfer me to the clerk's office? Clerk, I'll, I'll transfer you. I don't have the listing here. I'll transfer you to reception. I'll transfer you over, okay? Thank you.